Hi friends once again today i am here you was my own and this time i will take you all near a pond where, where it is it's there nearby here why, why? to play a skipping stones game Yahoo! and it is a beautiful and a blue lagoon mayur babu ah ikkada just wait here my village fisherman is there and i will join you after a little bit फ्रेश to be outside pace is slow i'm sure to take my time thanks kangaya alage babu sometimes i go to have fun well my village fisherman is using these stones to fishing now we can also use for our skipping stones game surroundings of our mother nature these type of stones are easily find out everywhere to us but today i got these stones more easily by the grace of my village fisherman and as every time i feel that uh, this side shore of this pond is not suitable for a skipping stones game even today i would like to take you all with me to that side of this pond would be my hang on this day even though this place is fully grown with this type of barbed wire bushes formed with twisted narrow lengths like this and my pockets are fully loaded with these stones i promise you to take you all to the other side of this pond within few minutes i'm sure to take my time due to the fact that our villagers are not using this eucalyptus garden to their needy and casual walks till this time i didn't found even a small trail here in this eucalyptus garden but i am only the guy always using this tough route why because this is a shortcut to that side of this pond anyhow my village fishermen and shepherds are occasionally using this field here they formed some crushed waste like this but every time i found even these tiles are also encumbered with some fallen trees and some of bended branches like this even though i feel these roots are more better than my previous ways oh today also i found some crossed waters on the way and these type of crossed waters are very common in this rainy season in my hamlet yes this is the channel and i am sure that uh, this rill is formed due to the yesterday's heavy rains in my hamlet and now i need to cross the channel oh my god okay no problem okay with some difficult i crossed this channel successfully ho oh, ho oh. among my ways i found some of my village mates while picking for firewood and this water is a continuous path to the previous rill and my village people feel that uh, this channel is a gateway to our village and as ever i would like to touch this clean water oh my fingers will be frozen okay let's go from here and this is a slanting waterfall which is formed on the stones and now i have to cross this slanting fall oh here these stones are fully covered with mildew and there are some stays beside of this pond 
but I don't know particularly who and when built these stones in the olden days. Whatever it may be, my villagers are very gentlemen to facilitate their lives. From here, most of the water of this pond is fully occupied with a type of aquatic plants like this. And according to my knowledge, this water plant's name is Water Hyansin. While all over the world enjoying this game very interestingly, I would like to let you know how and depending on which physics formula this game is possible very successfully. No physics. Huh? Only games. games. Just a minute here. Okay, carry on. Uh, you know, on this globe and in our daily life, every motion is possible and connected with physics. So it is very clear without physics there is no lives. About these motions, our great scientist Sir Isaac Newton proposed three laws of motions. The they are the Newton first law, Newton second law and the Newton third law. The pace is slow. And now our skipping stone game is totally depends on the Newton third law. So. Newton proposed the third law as for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, if a frog wants to move forward in the water, then the frog push the water to backwards with its legs and it will move forward in the same opposite direction. Similarly, if an eagle wants to fly upwards in the air, then the eagle push the air downwards with its wings and it will move upwards in the same opposite direction. Like that, if we throw a ball on the land with a certain force in 90 degrees angle, it will return in the same opposite direction. Action and Reaction and now we throw the same ball on the land with a certain force with 20 degrees angle it will jump forward with the same force in the same opposite direction like a frog like that if we throw a slant stone in the water with a certain force in 20 degrees angle it will touch the water surface and it will jump forward in the same opposite direction like a frog with so many skips but you never commit to drop your stone oh my village animals <laughs> but you never try to drop your stone in the water with 90 degrees angle even now if you want to try <laughs> it will sink into the water you know why the mass of the stone is more than the mass of the water at a particular point and if we compare the newton's third law to skipping stones oh my god this route is heaviest and i think it is better to ship from here <laughs> Okay, yes, awesome. I think this place is the right choice and uh, here it is fully spreaded with uh, the yellow color dicey days. Now we shall consider the Newton's third law to our skipping stones game. When we throw a stone with a certain force into the water with a 20 degrees angle, then the stone will touch the water surface and the stone will jump forward in the same opposite direction like a frog in the water. Do you know what happened here? It's simply nothing but action and reaction. When we throw a stone with a certain force in 20 degrees angle, then the stone will hit the water surface with the same force and they will generate the same opposite force on the water surface and that force will transfer to the stone then the stone will jump forward in the water in the same opposite direction like a frog with so many skips action and reaction here we can easily understand the interaction of two objects and the generation of two forces and these forces are called action and reaction forces the downward force exerted by the stone on the water surface is called an action force and the upward force exerted by the water surface on the stone is called a reaction force. The magnitude of these two forces are same but the directions are opposite. But after a few skips the skipping stone will sink into the water. You know why? Every time the stone hits the surface of the water and it is reflected upwards but the downward velocity is reversed and the horizontal velocity is reduced. So if its velocity is less than this value the stone skims across the water for a short distance and then after the skipping stone will sink into the water. 
So now we can easily understand the relation between the Skipping Stones game and the Newton's Theorem. Okay, after a little bit, I came to our destination among with you from so far to here. Yes, awesome. This is a fantastic scene of beauty and this place is very suitable to our Skipping Stones game with a shore that is equal to the lake's water. And we are also ready with these small stones which we got from the opposite shore. From this pocket, oh. and now from a left pocket. Now let's know a few precautions before we go to our Skipping Stones game. The first thing, it is always better that the size of the stone should be equal to the size of our palm. Secondly, a flat and a little bit round stone is always better because the surface area creates a bounce on impact. And third one, the magical angle of 20 degrees will also help in order to achieve a maximum number of skips. And fourth one, the maintenance of your minimum speed and firmly hook with your index finger along the edge of the stone and release the stone with a style of spin will also help to the success of your skipping stone. And now the final and important thing is that we have to take more energy into our hands before we go to throw the stone into the water. Okay, after taking all of these precautions, now let's move on to the skipping stones game. Now I am going to the first one. Yes, this is the right position. Okay, now. Mm. Mm. Yeah! My first one is succeed. After the first one, I am going to the second one. Okay? Sometimes I go to Now from this position. By the grace. Oh my god! Yahoo! My second one was also success! Okay, yes! And now I am going to third one, okay? Yes! Now from this side, okay, this one also? Yahoo! Third one also, I got it! After the third one, now it is fourth one. Skipping the stones, I have been saving this part for ya. Fourth one was complete, and now this is for fifth. Ooh. Oh. Okay, smart job, and this is one more. Beautiful, and this is the final. Okay, my dear friends, I feel today at this point we enjoyed this skipping stones game a lot, and I hope that next time we will enjoy even more. Bye. Holding is my pleasure, I know it's a work to wait This seems to take a move along, I've been saving this spot for ya Closer every day, as yeah, soon as time to play This seems to take a move along, I've been saving this spot for ya Closer every day, as yeah, soon as